so having done the purchase order wherein you know I had a grid where I could capture more than one item I had a lookup from vendor let's go into the invoice which is typically uh, you know the step in accounts payable process so that and then once you receive a invoice from the vendor, you have to match it against the items what what you have raised in the purchase order. So I'm just receiving some invoice, and uh, I'm just going to select the vendor over here. So uh, it being MSC in this case, and uh, I'm going to take this order number. So if you remember, this was the order which we had entered, and uh, it it has automatically picked up the items which we had entered in this particular order. So there were more than one item, so all of them will get picked up here. And then I'm free to change the quantity. So instead of 388, I can say I just received 380 as a quantity and submit it. And it's going to just show me uh, in this order lookup only orders which are pending uh, uh, on the vendor, not anything which is already received. So um, uh, uh, once I uh, do that, essentially what, hap what is happening in the background is it kicks off a workflow for approval of this particular uh, invoice which I have entered from the, from the vendor. And uh, in my approval screen, I get to see the similar form, forms experience where I had captured the invoice data, but this time with a comments field where I can capture the comments. And uh, you know, if I want to do reject, it says I'm, I must specify comments because it's mandatory for me to specify my rejection reasons, uh, reasons to the vendor. So I must enter the comments. But on the other hand, if I say approve, it's it's going to go through, and uh, you know that item is removed from my inbox where comments were not mandatory, and um, and finally, what uh, 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 what happens is uh, if if you go and uh, look at your uh, purchase orders, uh, it would have received this 380 quantity over here. Now, to show this part, we are just using uh, a regular .NET object, which I'll be showcasing during when we built it. And uh, the idea is that .NET object has updated this quantity, just to showcase how you could consume a regular .NET object in such cases.